Okay, now let's learn about the file permission. So a computer can have many different users. We could have the root user, we could have the owner, we could have the group user, we could also have others. It can be the guest user. So a file or a folder can have different kinds of permission. So there's different permissions for a file and a folder are read, write, and execute. So there are three different permissions a file and folder has. And so I'm in my desktop, so I've got this file here, hello.txt. Let's actually see some details of it. Okay. Now, if I list it here, well, I see lots of things. I mean, the things I'm interested in right now is the things I'm seeing here on this left. So this first hyphen denotes whether it's a file or a folder. So if it's a hyphen, it means it's a file. If, if it's a directory or in other words, if it's a folder, it's going to say D here. And now this remaining thing is okay. The RW hyphen, R hyphen hyphen, R hyphen hyphen. So this is the permission. Okay. R stands for read, W for write. Okay. Now there's another one called X which is the execute, which we don't see here. And these permissions are given to three different users. Okay. So the read, write, and well, nothing. Read, write, in case of execute, there's no execute permission for the first user. For the second user, we have this read only. Third user as well only has the read permission. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this file, right click in here and click on get info. So when I open this file and expand this sharing and permissions, okay, I can see we have three different users and the privilege, well, is reflected right here. See, the first user has the read and write. The second one, read only. Third as well has the read only. And we could see the exact same thing on our terminal as well. Okay, so we have three different users right now. Okay, the username, the, the other one, it's called the staff. We call this the group user. And then the third one is others. Third one can be a guest or someone who is trying to use this computer. Okay, and well, for this specific file, okay, we have for this in username, we have this read and write permission. For this staff, we have this read. And for everyone, we also have only read permission. Now let's look at assigning various permissions for various different users. So the command we use is this chmod, okay? And we can assign different permission for each of the users. For instance, okay, for the group user, okay, which is represented here as this thing, okay, group user has only read permission, okay? For this group user, I can assign different permission. For instance, I can say g equals Let's say uh, I in W, not just the read only, I can also assign the write permission for this group user for this specific file. So the file name is hello.txt. I'm going to press enter. Okay. And well, we don't see anything happen. So if I try to list it out now, since I assigned the RW permission to this group user, well, we can see it being reflected. Okay, let's assign the execute permission as well for group user. So chmod, get z, not, not only r and w, we can also assign the execute permission for this group user. Press enter. And if I look, look it back, there we go. R, w, and x, okay, for the group user. So read, write, and execute permission. Now, this first guy is something we call as the owner. Okay, and the owner is represented as U. Okay, U means this, this first individual, okay, this user. Let's assign the same R, W, and X permission for this user as well on this hello.txt file. So I'm gonna see it back, and there we go. R, W, and X permission is now assigned for this, for this first user as well. Okay, now this last one, okay, it has only read only permission, right? So you can also assign the permission for the last one, and this is the others. So we represent it as O. Okay, CHMOD for O, we assign, let's say, all of them, 
at wx. On the center, well, it looks like I made a mistake on the spelling of this CH MOD. Look at the center now, and as you can see, it is now reflected for the others as well. Now, this is how your permission is assigned. So, if I go back to the file, okay, and click on the get info now, they all have the read write permission. Okay. Now, we've assigned the permissions. How about removing them? Well, I can write the same command, chmod. And now, let's say I would want to remove the permission of this O. Okay. And I'd want to remove, let's say, the permission of read, write, and execute of this O in this specific file. Okay. O is the other. So, O represents this word, rwx here. Well, I'm going to remove all of the permissions that I assigned to O, okay, and I'm going to press enter, okay, now if I go back to see the list, well, now the permission is gone, okay, it's empty now, doesn't have any permission. Now, I could also assign or remove permission for all of them together, okay, and for that, I can use A, okay, so A and Let's say I want to remove all of this RWX for all of them. Okay. A represents all. And on this other file, I'm going to go back and see. See, all the permissions are gone for all the users. Now I could also do it for, well, let's say two users. For that, I can just write U, let's say for the, the first user. And then in C for the second user, I could do this as well. But since it's only been removed, so we don't really see it being reflected here. I mean, let's go back and assign the permission. So for U, I would love to assign RWX. For T, let's say R and W. And for O, I would love to assign just R permission on this file. And again, it looks like I'm always messing up with this spelling of the CHMOD. Okay, C S M O D. Press enter. And there we go. Okay, for the owner, we have this read, write, and execute. For the for the group, we have this read, write, and then for others, we have this read only permission. Now, we could also assign the permission of certain user to somebody else. For instance, this first user, okay, which is represented as you has this RWX permission. Let's say I want to assign all the permission this user has to these others. Well, I could do that using, again, CH, again, CHMOD. For the O user, I would love to assign all the permission of the U, okay, on this file. So, for others, I would love to assign all the permission that U has, okay. I'm going to press Enter. And if I go back and see, see all the permissions of the U was assigned to O as well. Now, there's alternative way to assign the permission, okay? We can use numbers to assign them as well. So, R is represented with 4, and W with 2, okay? And X with 1. And then for no permission, you can write 0. You could also use this number to assign the permission, which means... So R, W, and X. So 4, 2, and 1 equal, it adds up to 7. So if we write the number 7, which represents all of the permission, read, write, and execute permission. If we write the number 6, okay, 4 plus 2, 6, which represents read and write permission. Or let's say if we write the number 3, which represents 2 and 1, that is this W and X. Now the word, write and execute. So let's see this in action. Okay, so let me assign, okay, the let's say all permission to the first user that would be seven see four two and one so read write and execute adding them together would be seven okay and let's say i want to assign just read and write for the second user which is going to be the read and write that would be six now for the third let's say i assign only the read permission that would be four okay on this specific file and well let's see it in action there we go. Read, write, execute. Read, write, execute. Okay. Read and write. And then read only. 
So you could also use numbers to assign permission. And let me also do an example of no permission. So using the number. So instead of let's say for third, I don't want to assign any permission, I'll write zero. Okay, I'm gonna press enter. If I look back now, see, it doesn't have any permission. Okay, there we go. This has been all about assigning the permission to different kinds of users and also removing the permission for that we use the hyphen that is instance to remove all the permission but for all I remove the read write and execute permission on this file and all the permissions are gone